Hey everyone, Miles J here, and yesterday I got a couple of items from Fenty Beauty. I got the Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation, I got the Kilowatt Highlighter Duo, and lastly I got the Match Sticks Trio, as well as a couple of other new things I'm going to be trying out today. But before all of that, I'm going to put on this luxurious 24K Gold Mask Pack. How do I look? So I'm gonna keep this on for 20 minutes and then I'll be back. <sighs> now I'm gonna put some primer on with this clean sponge despite how brown it looks up in there. I just, you know, couldn't get out all the dirt. I am also going to set the primer in my skin and then I'm going to color correct and then I'm gonna put the foundation on. I wanna look pretty when this is on, so. I'm gonna do what I have to do. Now, it's time for the one and only. I've been seeing that you have to wait for it to oxidize first on your wrist, and I did, and it didn't look that much different. And in the Fenty line, I am in the shade 480. Okay, I got one full ass pump. Let's see how far it takes us. Okay, so first impressions. She actually went on pretty matte. Like, I'm surprised. Look at how matte my face looks after doing that. Normally, she's like super shiny. Um,. I see what they mean by soft matte. I like it. I like it a lot. I've been using Cryolon stick foundations. If y'all know, this is like clown makeup. So she is very, she's got that greasy texture. So I am not used to this at all. Also noticing even after color correcting my beard color, it's still kind of showing through. Let me do one more pump because I'm feeling greedy. Okay, something I'm noticing right away as I start layering this on is it's, it's a bit dark. <laughs> Looking at it and I'm like, uh, well, I'm uh, really red and really brown. Maybe I didn't get the right shade after all. You know what? <sighs> it's okay. We're, we're just going to continue and act as if this didn't happen. I'm going to counter contour and everything's going to be okay. We're just going to, it's, it's going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Uh, I've already messed up. So let's move on to the cream sticks. I was informed yesterday that I grabbed the wrong one. But you know, this is okay. This is fine. We will work with what we've got. So I've got truffle, I've got caramel, and I've got this gold shimmery color rum. I'm gonna try this, you know, to highlight. So just pray. That's so gray. It's so gray. I look so Caucasian, like. Now I'm gonna use truffle to warm it up. Yeah, that looks so much better. Oh my God. I got a air spun, but I'm scared to use this because I already used that lightest shade. So I think I'm gonna go with the Cryolon Anti-Shine Face and Body Powder. Oh, this is coming out too yellow. Are y'all seeing this? I fucked up. I fucked up. It's okay. I fucked up. I fucked up again. I'll try this one more time. Then I thought to myself, maybe I don't need to beat my face with a bunch of powder if the foundation is already matte. Okay, so I'm not gonna do anything else to my face. I just got it to a place where it looks moderately okay, although she does look a little bit gray. But you know, we're not gonna get too much into that. So what I learned about the foundation and the concealers is you 
really don't need to apply like that much powder at all really I would just use like a moderate light a real light touch of powder under the eyes as well as you know any other places you think need to be concentrated because you know the way she absorbs this powder is um different maybe it's just because I'm used to using a heavy duty concealers I just went overboard and try my best to fix it girl I'm looking so gray right now so gray you know it doesn't look as red anymore in person but it's definitely like slightly caucasian like a little bit ashy not gonna lie not gonna lie so i'm gonna do my brows and i will be right back now i'm just going to put a little bit of urban decay primer on the lids so that way i can get the truest pigments uh, well it's probably not the truest since this does have a little bit of glitter in it but you know so this is the Kelawatt Highlighter from Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna stop doing that accent now. And um, and this is in the color Ginger Binge, not to be confused with Ginger Binge, and Moscow Mule, a spicy alcoholic beverage. So I mean, I don't care what I wanna do th with this on my actual face, so I'm gonna try it on my eyes. So I'm gonna use this brush and dip into Ginger Binge over here in the inner corner. I'm gonna put it on the outer corner. Scratch that, I'm just gonna put it all over the lid like it's already all there. Moscow Mule, and just pat that. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to highlight the brow bone with the same color. And I'm gonna bring Ginger Minge down as well as plop back into that inner corner. So these kilowatts are popping. This was my favorite out of all of them. It was the warmest as well. And plus fall is coming up, so I wanted to get all nice and red and orange and stuff. I'm just gonna line my eyes and put on some lashes, so BRB. All right, moving on. I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty's Highlighter Matchstick in Rum. This is such a beautiful color I can already tell I don't trust sticks because they normally they move the foundation all over oh my god yes right now it's looking awfully choppy it's like I do something wrong every step but whatever we're here now I'm just gonna continue and just add more highlight to where I want it so to hide the mistakes I call my cheeks, I'm just going to put some more of Ginger Minge on. So I got two new lipsticks and I want to try them today. So I'm going to try this color called Wannabe from the Tarte Collection. And now I'm going to use this color called Fortune. And going back in my Fenty Booty Palette, I'm just going to take a little bit of Ginger Binge and a little bit more of Moscow Mule. So, with what I got, this is the best I could do. And I really don't have the patience to start this all over again. So, what I've learned from the foundations and the liquid foundations is they are a lot more matte than I was expecting like as soon as I put that yellow translucent powder it was looking a lot less translucent and a lot of pigmented on my face like it was two shades like it was black and white night and day and I just couldn't keep up with what was actually happening or if it would blend down um, it didn't so really all you would need is like a light super like if you're brown yellow translucent um powder and if that like barely a touch just you know get your powder brush take it go and sweet you don't want that much so you want I want the bare minimum of powder next time. Um, after looking at myself in the mirror and seeing, you know, the difference, sh I look grayer than a motherfucker. And I know it's because of the airspun. I know it is. 
because I, I should have just stayed orange. I'd rather be orange than gray any day. Any motherfucking day. Definitely should have laid off the Caucasian powder. Not saying that I can't go back in and try to warm my face up a bit. Let's see if I can try and atone for my sins. I mean, does my face look less gray at all? Does it match with the rest of my body? I can't, I can't tell from this far. Um, but when I'm editing it, I'm sure I will. Whose child is that? This is not the month. Girl, somebody better handle their baby. So overall, I am not disappointed with this line whatsoever. I actually think it's pretty decent, especially for my man face, you know. I had to color correct and add a couple more pumps to, you know, my be beard area to make sure it was nice and covered up, but it did the job. And it says it's lightweight. It feels a lot more lightweight than uh, my clown makeup sticks. I have to say that as well. But so far, the face looks decent to me. Like, I will walk out and not feel like completely and totally embarrassed. Like, I feel like I look decent. With that being said, I give the Fenty line. I'm not even going to rate it. I'm too biased. Like, I love it. I loved it before it even came out. I was like, yes, if it's by Rihanna, I'm getting it. Like, it's mine. Now I'm going to seal off this first impressions with the new cover effects illuminating setting spray the product isn't new it's just new to me it makes you look dewy and I, I look pretty dewy enough and I'm greasy on top of that so this should be a blast honestly truly I'm gonna shake it up not sure if I'm supposed to oh it says shake very well before use Ooh. okay so it's got like a mixer in there I'm excited now All right, now it's time for some glamour shots. All right, I'm going to end it here before I do any more catastrophic damage to my face. So, thank you guys all so much for watching this mess. And until next time, it's been me, Miles J, and I'll talk to you guys a lot later. Bye! And this has been Beautiful Your Booty!